Well, it's three days before Christmas. No better time to do a Christmas special than now. I hope you enjoy this video. I actually had a lot of fun making it. Um, I used my tablet to record it and ended up with a screech through the whole video. So I hope you can tolerate it. It does get a little bit better as the video progresses. Uh, blue collar ingenuity, where stop, drop, and roll is always a good thing to practice. Enjoy the video. Hello, blue collar world. If you're like me, it's December 20th and my wife is still nagging me to put up the Christmas tree lights. As you can see, I have a bit of a challenge with the height on how to get the Christmas lights up on the roof. I can th try to throw them up, but we see that's not going to work. So we have to find a simple solution to get the Christmas lights up on the roof. Okay, now for try number two. What I've come up with is I'm going to tie the string onto the ball and I'm going to throw the ball over the roof and then pull them up. And that should be as easy as that. Okay, so we lost that ball and we're still stuck with a simple method on how to get the Christmas tree lights up on the roof. I think I have a better idea and let's have a look at it. Okay, I think I've come up with the final method on how to get the Christmas lights up on the roof. I'm going to take this rocket and I'm going to gently launch it over the roof and then tie the Christmas lights onto the string and then easily hoist the lights up on the roof. So here we go. We're going to put the rocket onto the launch rod. Get an approximate angle. Make sure we're good. Yeah, I'll go a little bit more than that. I think we're good there. Attach the leads onto the rocket engine. And now we're ready to go. it on the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, now for attempt number two. I had to clean the posts on the batteries. We couldn't get it to ignite. So here we go again on the count of three. One, two, three. Well, come back. Well, I don't think that worked very well. Okay, to satisfy that damn wife of mine, I went and grabbed my potato gun out of my shed that every blue collar guy owns and has experimented with. So this time, I am going to take this projectile tied to the string, tied to the Christmas lights this time, and launch it up over the roof and then pull up the lights. So here we go. We're going to load it. I'm going to take a little bit of lube on the plug. Put it in the end of the gun. So we're good and loaded. We're going to take lots of string this time. That should do us. And we're going to tie it to the Christmas lights. With a good knot. There, good and snug. Now I believe we're ready to launch. We got our igniter, fuel, good old hairspray, and now we're ready to launch up over the roof. Notice the safety glasses, safety comes first. So we're going to fuel her up. Count of three, one, two, three. Cat back on. Give her a shake for good luck. 
Good aim. Not at the windows. And here we go on three. One, two, three. Well, that didn't work. We'll try again. Okay. Nobody's ever successful on the first try. So now we've added twice the amount of string. We're going to try it again. So here we go. Fuel her up again. Good old hairspray. One, two, three. Okay, get a good aim. And on the count of three. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to climb up the TV aerial, up onto the roof, pull the lights up, and the job is done. I forgot to mention, though, if you're a single guy watching this video, what the hell are you doing? So here I go. Here we have our string. Look at how easy that is. There couldn't be a simpler way to get your Christmas lights up on the tree. And now I have a happy wife. Well, it turns out those lights were broke. Who would have guessed that? This is the final solution. I hope this makes her happy. A red light. And look. I can even make them flash. Merry Christmas to all my blue collar friends.